Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome to Snapshot 18W09A. And today guys, we have a couple things to show you, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing to show you is that there are now underwater ruins in Minecraft. So here is one such underwater ruin structure. You can see there's a magma block nearby, which is how you can find these somewhat easily from the surface, just by looking down and looking for magma blocks. And yeah, this one is actually a cold underwater ruin, uh, which can be found in the frozen oceans, the normal oceans, and the cold oceans. There's also another structure which I'll show you, uh, which are the warm structures, the warm ruins. And those can be found in the lukewarm and the warm biomes. And in these ocean ruins, there are chests, which you can see have some loot in these. Uh, the loot right now is just a placeholder, I believe. There's going to be more loot added in the future. Um, but for now, yeah, you can see the, uh, the chests spawn with some standard loot in them. And, yeah, one other thing to note here is that chests underwater will now no longer have the water lines appearing near them. So they look pretty nice now underwater. So that is also a good change. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other underwater ruined structures because there are actually 24 new structures for underwater ruins. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of them. So here's another cold ocean ruin right here. And you can see this one's rather small. There actually are some that are quite big. Uh, and there's also actually underwater villages as well now. Uh, but yeah, you can see magma blocks are again how you want to look for these uh, from the surface. So you can easily see the magma blocks against the sand or the gravel or the dirt here. And what you can usually do here, you can usually come on in here and start to dig. And sometimes there can be a hidden chest underneath here. So let's just dig this out and see if this is the case here. Because usually there is a loot chest. Yep, there we go right there. And there we go, we got some loot in there. Got a fishing rod, some emeralds, and some coal. So, yeah, you do want to dig out these ocean ruins because there might be some loot hidden underneath. And here's an example of some of the warm ocean ruins. So you can see this one is made out of sandstone and some light blue terracotta. And again, if you dig down here and look for a chest, you should be able to find one. Sometimes it can be up to like two or three blocks deep, but there's the magma block right there. And let's see, there's our chest right there with some stuff in it. So, yeah, there is another little warm ocean ruin. By the way, guys, the ocean ruins are not just confined to the ocean depths. You can actually find ocean ruins naturally spawning on the surface in some instances, such as this one right here. So this, again, is another warm ocean ruin, and you can see it spawned above the water. And you can also get them partially submerged or mostly submerged as well. And yeah, that is the loot in that one. So guys, when I referred to underwater villages earlier, this is what I meant. So this is an underwater village right here. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six underwater structures directly next to each other here in very close proximity. And you can see there are some unique blocks here. There's a sea lantern here. Uh, here's what's in the chest right here in case you're interested. We got some prismarine uh, laid down right here that naturally spawned. Uh, if we break in here, or just go right in here, you can see uh, there's actually, <laughs> for some reason, some purple glazed terracotta. I suspect this might, this might have, uh, might supposed to be like uh, swords or something. Uh, but yeah, there is some naturally spawned purple glazed terracotta in here. Uh, and then, let's see, over here, I think I saw a chest back here somewhere. Yeah, right through here is a chest right there. So yeah, there's some, some gold and stuff in there. Uh, if we come out here, there should also be some chests in these structures as well. So let's just open this up and see what we got in here. If there is anything. Yep, there's a chest right here. So there's a gold helmet in here and stuff. Um, so yeah, this is what I meant by underwater village. Just a bunch of these underwater ruins in very close proximity to each other. Here's some more over here. And then this one down here as well. So... Yeah, kind of interesting stuff here with the underwater villages and the ocean ruins. And here are a few more photos of these underwater ruins and underwater villages, uh, just to show you some of the variety in them. So here's a couple more photos of those. Also new this week, we have coral blocks now that have been added to the game. We have five different types of coral. We have red coral. We have yellow coral. We got blue coral right there. Pink coral right here. And then finally, purple coral right there. So these are the five varieties of coral blocks we have currently in the game. 
And it's worth noting that right now they don't actually spawn naturally anywhere in the world. You can only get them via the creative menu. But presumably in the future they will spawn in somewhere in the world. And you have to have coral underground, otherwise it dies. I can just show you that real quickly here if I just pop on out. You'll see you place down living coral somewhere that's not in the water. It'll quickly die. And you can actually place these down. If I go ahead and just place a water bucket, let's say. If I place these right here, you'll see, yeah, it survives there, it survives there. As long as water is touching it, it seems, it'll survive. But as soon as it doesn't, then it dies out. And so this is what the dead coral looks like right there, sort of all grayed out. I would say that I'm not a big fan of the coral texture at the current moment. But again, it is a snapshot, so these things may change in the future. But those are the coral blocks. There have also been some changes to the phantom mob in the game. As you just saw right there, the phantom mob will actually despawn in the overworld during the daytime. So whenever it's daytime, the phantom mob will despawn now. And also, they no longer spawn in the end. So the end is a little bit less hostile now without the phantom mob spawning there. There are a number of great bug fixes this week, the most important of which is that furnaces will now accumulate XP even when their output is taken out by hoppers. So I can demonstrate this here. If I go ahead and just pop in a single iron ore here, let it smelt up, and then we'll take this out. This is going to be our control test to see how much XP we get from smelting a single ore. Right there. So we got two bars down here, as you can see, right there. And then I'm just going to set my experience back to zero right here. Now this furnace here has been accumulating um, iron ore. It's been smelting iron ore. And you can see it is actually being pulled out by the hopper and accumulating down here. So uh, this thing has actually been uh, yeah, producing a lot of iron for us. So if I go ahead and just stop the output here, as soon as I now take a item manually out, all the XP that I would have gotten from taking out uh, these, what is it? 30 some iron ingots from here um, I'll now get all at once because the furnace now stores it so let's just take a look and yeah you can see I actually leveled up twice uh, two levels up I'm at level level three instead of level one so that is actually a huge change to furnaces especially those of you guys who use furnace arrays um, you can now whenever you now manually take one item out um, regardless of if the ingot has been taken out by a hopper uh, it'll still have the XP stored in it. So, yeah, that's a pretty awesome way to get out XP from your furnaces if you use hoppers to extract the items first. So, yeah, big change to furnaces this week. So that is it for me from Snapshot18W09A. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and make sure to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.